All right, Matt Savage here with Steven Snyder from Charlotte, North Carolina. He's playing on May 18th in his first televised final table. And in addition to the $1.2 million, he's also playing for the Hublot Watch and a set of Baccarat Crystal. Steven, welcome. How are you feeling? I'm feeling wonderful. Thanks for having me. <laughs> you are just five players away from winning the biggest field in WPT history. What are your emotions going into this final table? Uh, just trying not to have any, uh, just trying to do the same thing that got me to this point and just take each hand by hand and, you know, not get psyched up about the, the numbers or anything like that. Um, you know, I've already been through a huge field, but that's in the past. And, you know, I just got to focus on these uh, other five guys. What would it mean for you to put your name on the Mike Sexton WPT Champions Cup? I mean, I don't even know if I can put it into words. You know, there, there's two things that all poker players dream about, and that's winning the World Series of Poker main event and winning the WPT. And the thing about the WPT, poker players will take any one of them just to have your name <laughs> on that cup. You know, it's yeah. it's kind of weird. Um, of course, you know, players dream of winning bracelets and stuff like that. But, you know, those are the two things that players dream of. And, you know, it's just, it's crazy that I have the opportunity to win the biggest one in history, you know, up until this point, at least. Steven, this tournament was a little different than ones in the past. Last year was a really rough year for all of us. Is that going to make this final table more meaningful? Yeah, for sure. I mean, for me personally, it was, you know, the worst year of my life. Uh, and, and I think a lot of people have the same story. Um, um, yeah, everything was just shut down. You know, not a whole lot of people were making any money, especially poker players. Um, and uh, me and my daughter's mom split up last year. Um, I, I think a lot of people that know me from around the poker community probably don't even know that. Um, mm. uh, but yeah, I mean, it was a really tough year for me. And, um, you know, I had to do a lot of, you know, regrouping and, and you know, rethinking the way I live my life and the way I approached, uh, you know, not only my personal life, but poker as well. And uh, coming into 2021, you know, I had been doing a lot of contemplating, a lot of thinking, uh, making a lot of adjustments, and I was really anxious to start this year off with a bang. And um, my very first trip back um, <laughs> was in Jacksonville, and mm -hmm. you know, I came in with this 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 new mental strength, this new mental game, I would say, and um, I was just completely focused. And I wouldn't, you know, I uh, I got I, cho I chopped three ways in a six max. I made a deep awesome. run in the main, and then I chopped uh the the tournament after the main um so i had a nice little 30k score down in jacksonville and you know after the year last year that just felt like you know it just felt so good you know just like uh, um you know the money's good but you know just it's a lot of validation for some of the work and some of the adjustments that i did and uh, i mean it just really just lit a fire to eat just to just keep going with it throughout the year do you so. think making a final table like this adds any kind of validation for the choices that you've made in your life to be a professional poker player? For sure. Um, you know, I, I've been um, fortunate enough to have some scores in the past that really validated things to like, you know, obviously your, your family, um, you know, your parents always want your kids to take this like a traditional path, get a solid job, you know, work hard and build a life and, you know, doing something like this that's kind of obscure to the mainstream. Um, it, it really, you know, kind of throws people for a loop. So, you know, I've been fortunate enough to do that in the past. Um, and this kind of just re-solidifies it. Uh, it's easier your first uh, TV final table, if I am not mistaken. Has this been a dream of yours or is this something that you've considered or thought you know, about? It's, it's funny. Um, I don't know why I landed on this, but I find myself watching the, um, the WPT channel on YouTube, which just streams nonstop all the old final tables, you know, dating back to the mid 2000s up to, you know, recent ones. And for two months straight, I, that's all I've been watching on TV. Wow. And it's so crazy. Then I take off to Florida. Now I make the final table the biggest one ever. Yeah. I come home, you know, and I got all my stuff unpacked and I was like, all right, I'm just going to relax, cut the TV on. Well, what did I cut on? <laughs> <WPT>. <laughs> so it's like, it's it's a, it's really weird. It's a weird feeling, but um, again, it's just like I, I feel like it's deserved. Um, I put a lot into this. I made a lot of sacrifice, and you know, this is like kind of semi-retirement type money. <laughs> yeah. But sure. uh, you know, not quite full retirement. But you know, I still got big aspirations. But nonetheless, I mean, it's a 
massive opportunity that you know all of us just dream of so all right steven so i heard uh that you had a little bit of bad news recently that uh, maybe you're playing this final table uh for another player is that is that true yeah well um a good friend of mine kyle garner passed away recently and um he was not only one of the best poker players I've ever known, but, uh, you know, just a, a, one of the smartest people in general I ever know. But he was uh, very influential on my career. Um, I guess you could say that a lot of this wouldn't be possible without uh, him uh, and some other guys, too, but um, definitely him. And, uh, you know, I'd like um, to give him a shout out uh, and uh, let his family know um, how much he meant uh, to me in my career. We're happy to see you there. And 2,482 entries, and you're down to the final six. We will look forward to seeing you on May 18th in Las Vegas at Poker Go Studio. Uh, it's going to be a great time. Uh, good luck to you, Stephen. I really uh, you. hope you Thank do you well. so much. I'm ready. I can't All wait. Right. Thank you so much. <laughs>